boils and ghouls, and welcome back once again to Wannabe Reviewers Freaky Flicks. Now, for tonight's movie, this is kind of a weird one because it's not very often that I watch a movie and then walk away not knowing whether or not I liked the movie. You know what I mean? Like, for this movie, there's things that I like, there's things that I don't like, and I'm still kind of trying to process whether I like the movie or not, you know? Uh, for tonight's movie, I am, of course, talking about Us. Uh, Us, you know, for anyone who watched uh, Get Out, it's by the same director. It's by a guy named Jordan Peele. And Jordan Peele, you know, he was a comedian up until very recently. And then he just dove into directing and sticking to horror and stuff. Like, he made the movie Get Out. He made the movie Us. I think he's, like, the creative person behind the new Twilight Zone series. And so, yeah, you know, he's just like a director working on horror stuff now. I don't know why. That's just the direction he chose to go. But, uh, yeah, Us, like I said, I just don't really know if I like it or not. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about, Us is... It has a simple premise. You know, it starts off very simple. has to do with a African-American family. They go on vacation to Santa Cruz Beach. Uh, you know, it's mom, a dad, uh, uh, daughter, son, that sort of thing. And while they're there, they notice that these doppelgangers, I mean, this family that looks just like them, but wearing, like, red and acting, obviously, you know, a little off, they show up and start trying to, you know, attack them and kind of take over. And even though it has, like, a simple premise, from there it's just where it gets really weird where they kind of try to explain who these other people are and how they're from like this other like dimension sort of thing and they they're tethered they, they're, they're called the tethered because they're tethered to the people like on this side of our world and it's just it's really weird right like you really have to watch it really pay attention and i think that may be part of why i don't like it i guess if that makes sense um because yeah stuff that i do like you know stepping back a little bit i like the acting for, like I said, for every movie that I've covered, basically, you know, this Freaky Flicks event, except for maybe the acting in Sharon Tate, you know, Haunting of Sharon Tate, except for maybe that movie, I've enjoyed the acting. This movie is, like, no different. I think that everyone does a really good job. I think the fact that these actors have to portray both, like, their normal self and then, like, their doppelganger self who has, like, a crazy personality, I think they do a really good job. Um, I like some of, like, the imagery that's used, you know, it's very creepy, like, when you see these doppelgangers and, like, what they look like and stuff, and, I don't know, it, it is creepy, it's unsettling. I enjoy the kills, I think the kills are, you know, perfect, I think they're gory, they're, you know, they're interesting, that sort of thing. Uh, I think the story itself is ambitious, you know, I think that it is trying to do something very unique. Like, no one can say it's not trying to be unique, it's trying to be very unique, but like I said, despite the acting and, like, the kills and, like, the tension and, like, the atmosphere and stuff, I think the story and, like, the, like, the bigger message that it's trying to, like, portray, I think that's where it loses me. Because Get Out, I love Get Out. I think the way it has horror and comedy and social commentary and the way the horror is based on, like, race relations, which we haven't really seen before and the way they play with that... I feel like it just came out very naturally. And I feel like it's something you can watch and just, like, enjoy. You know, it comes very, like I said, very naturally. It feels like it flows. You don't really have to think about it. Like, you can dig deeper into it. But even on the surface, it's something you can follow. With us, though, I feel like what they're trying to talk about, about there's being, like, this other dimension and people who are tethered. And it's kind of like a metaphor for, you know, how some people, like, have it good and they have privilege and... Other people don't, and the people who don't have privilege are kind of trying to fight for it, and I don't know. I, mean, I don't want to get into like, the whole like themes and politics of it, but if you look it up, I just feel like it, it seems like trying a little too hard. I feel like it doesn't come out as naturally, and not only that, but there's like this twist near the end, I guess, that it's supposed to be something that, oh, you know, kind of like recontextualizes like the whole movie for you and stuff, but I wasn't surprised by the twist. I thought the twist was very obvious. Like, I, I'm not going to spoil it, you know, in case someone wants to watch it and maybe it's not as obvious to them. But I thought, like, the twist near the end was very obvious. It's something I saw coming, like, the moment I started the movie. 
So, like, that was kind of disappointing, too, you know? So that's what I'm saying. I don't really know. I mean, I wouldn't say I hate the movie because I definitely don't. Like, unlike The Haunting of Charité, which I hate, and I would say don't watch it, I, I don't dislike this movie. Like, I do think it has lots of good stuff going on. I think, you know, Jordan Peele continues to make some good stuff, even if this one isn't, you know, I don't like this one as much as Get Out. But yeah, I'm just very mixed. You know, I just don't know if I really like it or not. It's just very, like, there's good things, there's bad things. I don't really know what to think. I guess I'm just kind of very on the fence about it. So, I don't know, guys. Hopefully that helps you, you know, kind of make a decision, you know. I know I, I, maybe I wasn't too helpful since I am kind of on the fence about it. But yeah, that's my review of Us. Uh, like I said, it has its good points and its bad points. Maybe for you it'll vary. And really quick, what did I end up putting back there? Oh yeah, I ended up putting my Persona book. Sorry, I didn't point that out earlier. Because yeah, you know, it's all about us. And it's about like doppelgangers and like the other you and stuff. And Persona's all about that. So I thought that was something good to include. And uh, yeah, even Bojack back here, you know, he's getting in the spirit. He has his little costume on. He has his, his bunny ears, his, you know, other Persona or whatever. But yeah, with that being said, guys, that's my review of us. I will, of course, be back tomorrow with another review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. That has been Wannabe Reviewer's Freaky Flicks for tonight. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.